What is going on, you guys? Today, I wanted to talk to you about this particular vacuum cleaner. I wanted to review it um, because I think it's important that other people know before they buy things whether or not something is good. And I'm really hoping that this video does not hurt the feelings of the person who bought it for me. However, I do need to be honest um, so that other people can avoid. So, this vacuum cleaner right here um, is called a Bissell Featherweight Bagless Vacuum Cleaner. The model number on it is 3106P, and I'm sorry about the shaking, you guys. Um, this little bitty vacuum cleaner can be used as a handheld. Um, of course, it does have a cord on it, so that's as much as you can pull on it, I guess, is what you can use. This is the bottom piece of it as you can see it just has little plastic rollers um and to tell you a little bit about the plastic it's extremely cheap um i would give it dollar store quality plastic this handle right here is about well the entire vacuum put together is about four foot tall so it's definitely not for taller people and then it comes with this little cheapy plastic um, attachment piece. So, one of the things that I noticed about this vacuum cleaner when it's on is that it loves to kick back. Anything that it might have picked up, which is a miracle if it picks up anything, comes blowing out of this section right here. And this is the result all over my carpet of that. One of the things this vacuum cleaner does not like to pick up is dirt, sand, lint, and pet hair. Um, it will pick up like a whole piece of cereal, but it has to be pretty well intact, otherwise it won't pick it up. So I will just show you right here. This is something that it threw back. Oh, and sometimes the switch does not work. Um, you have to push on it three or four times sometimes for it to come on. Sometimes it comes on the first time. So there you go, you see it's not coming on. So that took two tries back and forth to get it to come on. And then as you can see right there, it did not pick up anything at all. Now, it does have a cheap, flimsy filter uh, that's supposedly reusable. I wouldn't dare put it in water. I don't think that it would survive. It's about the consistency of a basket coffee filter. Um, and I'm not talking about the reusable ones. The paper ones. Um, and it's just right in here. And, of course, I'm not going to take it apart because it's just going to throw crap all over my rug that it's not going to clean up. So, I won't be doing that. But there is a small uh, white filter in there that's pretty thin, and you have to clean it out every few minutes um, if you can manage to get it to pick up things. Overall, you guys, I have no idea how much this vacuum cleaner costs, but I can tell you right now, it is an absolute one star out of five vacuum cleaner. I do not suggest it at all, okay? That is just my honest review, and again, I hope I don't hurt the feelings of the person who bought it. But that's how it goes sometimes. Alright, thank you so much guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and peace.